Hi, it's Melanie from Shimmer. Welcome to a video on the frame of your face, your eyebrows, and specifically using eyebrow pomades. We are going to talk about placement of eyebrows, brushes, uh, specifically eyebrow pomade and how to pick your shade, and then an eyebrow trend that I really just don't get that I'm gonna gloss over. I carry three different shades of eyebrow pomade. The first shade is light. The second shade is medium. And the third shade is dark. I'm going to be doing an ombre eyebrow look today, so I'm going to be utilizing the dark and the medium on different parts of my eyebrow. Usually I just do medium all the way across. I've got to do this video too before my eyebrows get crazy out of control. We have no access to cosmetology in Ohio right now, so I get mine threaded. I was due this week to go, so I don't know what is about to happen for the next four weeks. Hopefully good things, and I keep telling everybody to be kind to themselves, so I've got to be kind to myself. So warning aside, we're just going to hope for the best. If you're not sure of your eyebrows, shape at this time let them grow a little bit come in see us it may take a little bit longer but I promise we will get to you as soon as possible so don't go overboard with removing or tweezing hairs we're here for you just hang in with us and we'll be with you as soon as possible Brow pomade is my favorite type of product to put on my eyebrows to fill them in. I have naturally thick eyebrows that get wavy and crazy. It's kind of like if you ever have a wiry gray hair on your eyebrow, that's how mine always act. I am happy to look like my ancestors. I know they went through a lot to get me over to America. Thank you for the eyebrows. I certainly have a lot to work with and I certainly have a huge challenge. What you will need for eyebrow pomade, which acts like a wax, is a brush that has a blunt tip. Okay, First, we have to talk about this. What is this? Why is it happening? I've seen it so much, I think on television. on television by makeup artists just brows sticking straight up you comb them you probably put some clear mascara over them I don't understand I don't understand how this is really flattering on anybody this combed up look is what you do if you're trying to glue up your eyebrows and then draw them on higher on your face so you would do this if you're going to make a fresh set of eyebrows and add more space in between your eyebrow and your eye to play with more makeup but for every day, I don't understand. It makes me look angry, which I have a sunny disposition generally. I spend a lot of time taming my eyebrows, so it's beyond me, why? Why is this happening? Ah. Thanks for letting me rant, I'm lonely. <laughs> All right, this feels so much better just getting these off. So I did literally pomade these up with my husband's hair pomade that I put on him at weddings. He's got a lot of hair. His eyebrows are probably actually gonna end up suffering worse than mine when this is said and done. <sighs> okay, <sighs> much better. And note, if I just use the corner of my makeup wipe, I do reuse it. It's also really good at cleaning off your makeup brushes. And if you're going to use them for your makeup brushes, I would keep them in a separate container. Honestly, if you use makeup wipes, washing your brush off right afterwards is the best. And always cleanse after you use makeup wipes too, just to make sure that everything's off your face. When I was super, super busy though, I would keep these on my coffee table because I would fall asleep on the couch and then wake up and use one. It's way better than using nothing for sure. If you've heard the phrase sisters not twins before, that definitely describes your eyebrows. If your eyebrows were 100% symmetrical, you would look really weird. <laughs> your face is not symmetrical. I'm gonna do a little bit of an ombre brow because why not be complicated? I have nothing else to do. But I love being here with you guys, so thank you for filling in my time uh, during this time. It's really helpful for me to do something constructive. Your eyebrow shape will most likely compensate for your eye shape if you're doing any changes outside of the norm. Your face shape too can also be a contender. I have a heart-shaped face and I have almond-shaped eyes. So my eye shape is super standard, 
My face is a heart shaped, which means that uh, my emphasis is gonna be on my forehead and my chin and not so much my eye area. You'll get a lot of standard makeup routines with me because that's how my face naturally is. So I will go over the standard eyebrow placement. You're gonna look at where your pupil's at and your arch is gonna be here, creating an angle. Your eyebrow is not to extend past this angle, past the outside corner of your eye, and your eyebrow is not to start outside or inside of this tear duct area. To make your shape strong, you want to focus on this arch area. We're gonna go lightly in here. This needs to be the darkest point. You'll see our arch is angular. I do like my left eyebrow. My left eyebrow has always been better. Here. So I'm gonna make that shape here. Then I'm gonna make that shape here and I'm gonna do it a little bit darker so you can see what I'm talking about. I'm gonna do like an ombre brow on myself. So you wanna make the end very strong too. So I'm gonna go up here. This doesn't have to look as hair stroke like because I have hair there. If you don't have hair there, you wanna go a little bit lighter. I am using the dark pomade for this. Again, my eyebrow is not going to extend past my eye here. Then on the other side too, I'm gonna to make this look a little stronger. And not extending past here. Next, I'm using again dark for purposes of filming. I'm going to fill in the top of here. Some people say that you should not remove hair from the top of your eyebrow. I do. If you come into me for an eyebrow wax, we're waxing the whole eyebrow, even if we pull like three hairs out of the top, two dark hairs out of the middle. This area right here only is not getting an eyebrow wax. Getting an eyebrow wax is trimming. It is doing the underneath, the top, the sides, making sure that everything is off there. So now that I've placed my dark eyebrow pomade in the arch and extended it out to the end and did a little bit on the top. We will use the medium pomade to do that ombre brow that I was talking about. All right, so I'm going to use a lighter color on the front of my eyebrow. Remember, we don't want to make a stark line here. And the reason for that is because it is going to make your eyebrows look closer together. It's going to make your eyes look closer together if you are putting the dark right here on the beginning of your eyebrow. Here's my medium pomade. I'm gonna go in here. And then we are going to be very light handed with this brush up here, up here, and then on this side, up here, up here. We are imitating hair strokes. Up here, up here. That one's a little heavy, so there we go. And then because this is a pomade, it has a wax component, so it will make your hair stay in place a little bit better than a pencil would. Do a little bit there, a little bit here, but remember no harsh lines right here. If you have black hair, you absolutely can, but I have blonde hair and light brown hair. To be honest, it's always a million different colors anyway, <laughs> so I'm gonna make sure that since my hair isn't jet black or I don't have a jet black hair piece on, I want this soft look, but I still want it precise and defined. You can even do the front of your brows with a square brush, flat brush, it's a square. Do a little bit. So that's a little bit thicker. So if I wanna be a little more dramatic, I can go in there. There we go, we got some eyebrows. I did them a little bit more dramatically because we were doing the ombre eyebrow. Usually I would just use medium across my whole entire eyebrow. I might try this look out a little more often, 
Now it is optional to set your pomade since it is a wax with a powder. If you have a translucent powder, you can set your eyebrows. Honestly, I really skip that step. And I'm in steam and treatment rooms all day. My hair is falling down, getting frizzy, but my eyebrows usually stay looking pretty good. Hopefully my threader will be back soon. 